fairway mowers, you don't have baskets, so what would I put it at? And so what I want it to do is I want it to shoot so that it kind of disperses a little bit. I don't want it so high that it shoots up in the air and the operator comes into the shop and his teeth are green because all the grass is flying up and hitting him. You don't want it so low that it just jumps right in front of it. You want it to kind of spread and fan a little bit and disperse the clippings. And so that has a little bit of, of maintenance there. Inside this reel, between the reel and this top upper uh, shield, there's a bar under there. And if you look in there, there's four screws. That bar is designed to break up those clumps. When I cut a clump of grass and it starts catching in the back, if that gap is really large, then a clump of grass can come flying out and then it's going to get run through again. And so what the bar does is as a clump comes up on the reel, it knocks it down and it breaks it up. It's supposed to have a gap of 60 thousandths. If it's too narrow, it's going to contact the reel. If it's too wide, clumps will get out of there and you'll get clumps of grass out here that you're running over with your roller. So now I have uneven cut because it's running <laughs> over clumps of grass. So those are some things that you can just kind of be aware of. If you get the opportunity of rebuilding the reel and taking it apart and putting it together, you'd want to set all those adjustments. They're all in this tech manual. So it's, it's in there. So you don't have to try to remember what they are. If I'm going to set the height of cut on this one, the rear roller has different adjustments in it. And so you need to figure out what hole do I need to be in. When I first got into doing uh, reels like this, I asked the guy, well, how did you know what hole to put it in? And he's like, well, it goes in C. Well, why? why? Why did you put it in C? Because you put it in C. I'm like, but why? I mean, how did you know that? And he's like, they're always in C. You never put them in anything but C. It's got to be in C. And I'm like, well, let's say I took it apart. And I didn't know that it was supposed to be in C. How what am I supposed to know? And he's like, you, you just put it in C. And he didn't know why. And so it took me like a year to figure out Finally found an operator's manual. And in the operator's manual, there's a chart. And I have the wrong piece of paper in the end. There's a chart, and what it tells you is what height of cut range am I working within. If I'm working in different height of cut ranges, I'm going to put it in different brackets. If my height of cut is 3 sixteenths and below, I'm going to use the B position. If I'm between 5, 30 seconds and above, I'm going to use the C position. But they give you a chart. And so if I had the right thing for this cutting unit, because that was the height of cut that he always cut within. And his course never changed. It came to him. Whoever brought it to him set it in C. So he just thought it was always in C. He didn't realize that there was a chart that you could use for an initial setting. In his particular experience, he would never had to run on anything but C, so it was always C. That was his experience. There is a reason why it's in C. And I don't know what... This particular one has A through E. So you'd have to go to the chart, figure out which one do I want. And each one of those has a range that it works best within. If you try to set the height of cut outside that range, then you're not going to make it. You're going to run out of adjustment in the very front. It's going to affect the attitude of your bed knife. If I'm running at the extreme of one of those holes, it's going to affect the attitude of that bed knife. It's going to, it's going to affect how aggressive you are, and it's going to affect burning of the grass, because it's going to be rubbing the grass. And so that's why it's important. We're going to adjust it so we got reel to bed knife. We've got high to cut adjustments, which there's a, a bolt on this center area that clamps it, holds that adjustment. So you simply loosen it up, and you can adjust your height of cut by turning the knob up or down. This thing has a rear roller that has to be parallel to the reel. If you don't, your reel and your rollers are going to be off. It's going to affect your quality of cut. So once you've set the right hole, then you're going to parallel the rear roller to the reel. And that's what this bench plate is for. This bench plate is right around $200. But it's a perfectly flat plate with a bar on it. You set the reel on top of the little bar that's on there, and you're going to set the rear roller. If a piece of paper slips under one end and not the other, then you're just going to adjust it until it doesn't slip under e either end. And you'll experience that as we go through. Once you've set the rear roller parallel, 
then you'll set the front height of guide. So it's pretty simple. And Andy will take you through those procedures.